beautiful. I'm singing Paris Hilton on the red carpet. Okay, were you singing Are Stars you? Are Blind? Yes, it was. Stars are crazy, even all the stars are blind. If you show me real love, baby, I'll show you mine. Yes. Okay, you just, I mean, why, where else that's, can you karaoke that's on the why That's why we're here at the Grammys, babe. Well, <laughs> you're specifically here at the Grammys for something incredibly special, celebrating Stephen Sondheim. Obviously, such an important part of your career now. Huge. You know, what does it mean to be able to be up there and be a part of that tribute? Oh my God! I mean, I'm I'm pinching myself. I obviously wish it were for different circumstances to be honoring him. Uh, we lost him a couple days before our New York premiere of West Side Story, which just seemed like crazy timing. Um, but as someone who got to work closely with him on the soundtrack of West Side Story, and he came to set every every time we were recording one of the songs and filming one of the songs. Sweeney Todd is my first favorite musical. He was my hero. He was the person I had like you know pictures of, and he was on my vision boards and all of these things. And so to be here celebrating his life and his legacy, as well as the life and legacy of so many greats in music that we lost this year, um, it's just it's a huge honor. It's not lost on the four of us that we get to celebrate so many wonderful people's lives today. What do you remember about the first time that you heard the song that you're singing tonight? Oh God, I was very young. It was, had to be. Do you know what I'm singing tonight? I actually don't know what you're singing yeah. tonight, so maybe I should ask the first no, question no. first. Yeah, no, well, so I'm, we're doing a medley of Sondheim songs, and my particular part is somewhere from West Side Story. And so uh, the first time I heard it, I think I was watching the movie when I was five or six years old, and it was, it was Natalie Wood and Richard Boehmer, I believe, who sang it, mostly Natalie Wood who sang it, um, Marnie Nixon, who did her singing voice in the movie. And I just remember just being enthralled by the melody and thinking it was so interesting that the emphasis is on the article, not the word, which is a very scientific thing, I guess, musically. But I remember talking to Steve Sondheim about it when he was with us, and he was so annoyed that the emphasis was on uh and not theirs. He said, it should be there's a place for us, not there's a place for us. He was very annoyed at Leonard Bernstein for writing it that way, which I probably shouldn't air out, but whatever. But hey, uh, <laughs> you're going to sing it the right way, though, tonight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll just be I'll just change the whole composition and sing it the way Steve wanted it. It's what Steve would want. <laughs> of course, obviously I'm talking to a Disney princess. Hi. What is it like to now kind of, you know, be able to be out and talking about Snow White and in the middle of production, um, you know, what what has been the highlight of diving into that world? The dress. The dress, girl. What Sandy Powell. Sandy Powell my girl, she designed a beautiful dress. She really is the queen. Um, and I have, to, I have to say, Gal Gadot's costumes. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I can say. Is it hard to like, I mean, she's such a nice person. You're she like, is, she is so kind, honestly. Like a, really like a, as a set presence, a really nice person to work with. And then like, she just turns it on and you're like, wait, I'm a little scared of you. <laughs> and she's, but then in between takes, she'll like squeeze your cheeks. And be like, oh, you're so cute. <laughs> If you could describe, because I know you probably can't tell us very much about what this Snow yeah. White is going to be, but if you can describe how it is, is different or, or, you know, what's going to make it stand out, what would you say? Princesses can be the heroes of their own stories. 